Hello everybody, Nairi again from Phantom Production. Today I just want to show you my recording chain. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit the notification bell, subscribe, and also like our video. So guys, today I want to talk about recording chain. So what's a recording chain? A recording chain is a group of effects that you applied on real-time recording. So let's have our mic in. Now our mic is set and now you can see the incoming signal in this meta. So first effect on my recording chain that I always use is a gate. Now this gate is to remove unwanted hum or white noise from the mic. So we'll go with uh, a default gate in FS Studio. Why most of the time I usually do default plugins because I just want us to understand that we can still use our FS Studio without any third party and we're still good to go. So I've just loading the footer limiter. The footer limiter, if you look at the right hand below, you will see the gate knobs here where you can apply your gate. So now when we are quiet, we still see incoming signal entering our recording, which we don't want. So let me just be quiet. Let's observe the white noise and listen to it. So when I'm not speaking, I see get incoming signal. That's the mic home. Or white noise so what we'll do is to set our gate so most of the time what I do is I always make sure I I just set my threshold first I should put my threshold around around minus 30 here so the next thing I usually do is I just allow the release on the default set which is 15 millisecond so now let's try to clamp down the the noise we don't want let's take down the gain and be observing our our graph there to see the amount of noise we are taking out. So now, when we are quiet, we no longer see incoming signal. Let's just observe this meta and see. So that's it. We don't have any incoming noise again. Now, any audio signal which is below this threshold that we have set will be clamped. So those signals that are above this 30, minus 30 dB that we have set will be allowed to go through. So that's actually what the gate is doing. So the next effect on my chain is a preamp. Now this preamp is 1973 preamp from Autoria and it has EQ section, output, the gain, and the preamp type. We have type one and type two. So uh, what I usually do with the setting is I click on this chain to glue both the right and left section of the EQ. So whenever I'm hovering on a parameter, we'll be working on both sides. So first thing I usually do is a roll off. At the low frequency here about around 80 hertz here so most of the time you may you may do it right up to 100 but now it depends on the vocal so the next thing i do at the low frequency here i just leave it that way because i know most of the process scene i will do on my mixes so the next thing i do i go around i will come to this mid frequencies i go around 500 hertz and i do a 3 db cut there so we are done with the EQ section. So the next thing I do set is, is this input gain. So this, what this input gain is doing is just to add some harmonic distortion. At default, it will be like this. So most of the time, I usually just set it around this position to have that harmonic distortion. Now the output section just control the input signal. So now we don't want to record too low and we don't want to record too high. We look at our meta now, it's really high. We don't want too high or neither too low. So when it's really low, you have problem because the gate will try to clamp those signals that are really low. So the next thing I'll do, I'll just try to set my output here. So I'll be looking at the meta. And most of the time, I usually love my recording to be around 12 and 15. So I'll still take the, the gain down. Now we are hitting around uh, 12. It's not really consistent. So that's why the next effect on my chain now is compressor. So this compressor is just to try to have a dynamic check. So first thing I usually do with my compressor, so most of the time I usually put my on vocals, I make sure I'm at a gentle ratio like this, 4 to 1. I can still do 5, it's still gentle ratio. After setting my threshold, the next thing is to check on my compression type. So the compression type that I usually set on my recording is vintage. I just love vintage. So the next thing I do, I make sure I check on my attack. I don't want the attack to be too slow like this. So I make sure I take it down. Most of the time I can still leave it at 15 or 11 like that. Now it's really fast. No vocals do come fast, so you make sure the attack is fast. The release, 
I, I always just leave it at default. So the next thing I do is try to set my threshold. Any incoming signal that will be above the threshold settings will be claimed down by a ratio of 4 to 1. So now let's look at our meta while we're speaking and trying to set a little hit 12. There is no AC12, so we set our compressor. We're trying to have it to make it to be below 12 and 15. So that's it, guys. So make sure set it well. So, guys, that's actually my recording chain. So now let's just uh, record something and let's listen. So let's just record. Hello, guys. This is Nair again from Phantom Production. And I'm doing a quick mic test with my recording chain on. So this is a signal we can just listen to it. Hello, guys. This is Nair again from Phantom Production. And I'm doing a quick mic test with my recording chain on. Okay, guys. So that's my recording chain. That's actually all I usually do. My recording chain so I can get a clean vocal. So that's just the process. So let's just recap. The first, effect, the first effect on my chain, which I usually put, is a gate to remove the unwanted uh, mic home and also white noise. My preamp, my preamp to try to set, set my gain level of the incoming signal. Then the next thing I do is my compressor. This one is just to check the dynamics. So that's all. Hey guys, so make sure, uh, if you are new to the channel guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and also share the video give it a thumbs up guys see you in the next one thanks again for watching i am naira again from phantom production so we make sure we give you good content so make sure just have this recording chain so you can use any effect any of any effects you must not use the ones that i've used so uh, you can still do your chain without using a preamp because you also you already have a preamp on your audio interface so guys that's it thanks for watching